Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Well, what do you know? The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research I'm not really center sure. was used recently to monitor I'm the alien not signal. familiar with the, the lore related to this gives anatomy. us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Let's try the local guns.
For here, um, probably erosion. Gullwing doors, nice, perfect for tight parking space. The nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Yeah, so I can't really step outside the car very easily. It's easier to karma get in the critters. Nice if it has some guns like the Mako though. Okay. Yeah, that was indigenous lights. Like bug critters. What is that? trigger another eidetic trigger Sam yes though my memory array remains locked additional triggers are required oh 
Probably a fast travel point. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. Oh, um, hi, Billette. Um, I've been playing for four hours now. Of hours. Yeah. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Hmm. Everyone, everyone's welcome here. What? Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. That kind of mysterious too. Wait! Hi, Chiana. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? 
Are you for real? You That's a creepy looking smile. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Wow, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7. Later, just take them out. Keep targeting that one. They make little bots. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as Peavy. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Oh, I'm working with the AI and data All that we got in Habitat connected. 7, so that you speeds up the... You monolith somehow. It helps speed up the process. And now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Well, the way the alien assault rifle works is interesting. Um, the way it does, instead of just hold, hold down the button to rock and roll, you hold down the button which charges up a shot, and then it fire, and then once it's charged up, it fires off a burst based on how long you're holding down the button.
Well, something bad definitely happened here. Site 2, Brazilians. It was sold as the one we get right, but it didn't have time to get worn down. Got wiped out by Cat. We'll deal with the Cat, one thing at a time. Not shot, he was just pummeled to death. Did the Cat do this? We haven't seen something like this yet. Nexus not send a retrieval team for the bodies? We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many? Lexi, update Nexus records on West, Quarter M, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. Override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside? Yes, Pathfinder. It appears lockdown was manual before the power restrictions. Why do that? It wouldn't keep anything out. It would keep something in. Secondary terminals, no access. If deployment is standard, main access will be deeper in. Take a record break and be right back.